What's up guys and happy Tuesday. So here I am again with a, another card pull of the day. So let's just see what we have. Ooh, okay, interesting. So what I have today is the Three of Wands. And um, as you can see, it's kind of this TP that's being built and there's tools on the ground. And really this card stands for business success, for financial success as well. And I like to think of this as laying a solid groundwork, right? So laying that stable kind of base that you can build from and that you can grow from and that you can grow into. And um, I also am kind of feeling called to make this message for anyone that's feeling like tight, like in their life. And I know a lot of us obviously feel cooped up because of like pandemic and just quarantine and being inside. Um, so that's definitely valid. But a lot of us are also kind of coming to terms with things that we maybe have outgrown whether it's people or relationships or a career path or even a particular job or company that you have right now. Maybe it's even the city that you're in, but a lot of us are kind of going through these phases of growing out of things and growing into bigger things and kind of moving out of that tiny cocoon that you've like grown out of. And so um, I'm really being called to say like addressing your foundation and um, is is super important and if you feel like you are being confined by your environment it's important and this is kind of a sign to say like think about that and think about you know what you really want and maybe what you want is making a few simple changes and overall keeping the structure of your life to make yourself happy um, or maybe you know you're realizing that you want something bigger you want to move across the country you want to move to a new country you know maybe there's um just a different career path in in mind for you so all of those are things that i would definitely ask yourself to think about but also when it comes to just business success and self-worth self-worth is such an important sorry if you hear my dog barking but self-worth is such an important part of creating a stable foundation, right? If you build a foundation on, you know, giving discounts and undermining yourself and giving away things for free that you aren't, don't want to. And if you're seeing, again, like this theme of scarcity is coming up. If you are seeing, you know, yourself making decisions out of fear or because you're scared of all the bad things that are happen, that are going to happen, like th think about how you could adjust those ideas that you're having. How can you really look at these different areas of your business or your foundation and say, okay, what was created out of fear and what was created out of valuing myself and valuing my business and valuing my work? Um, because a lot of the times when it comes to our self-worth, we just, we, we might not realize that we have low self-worth, but that can be identified more through the actual habits that you see yourself doing. So if you are constantly taking on free work or if you are constantly, you know, giving clients, uh, taking on free clients or giving clients massive discounts. And if you find yourself barely being able to break even, but you're doing all this work for all these people, then that's obviously something that is off balance there. There's a sense of your own value, your own, like the, the your sense of how much you value yourself is kind of off. And so this is really speaking to just kind of business success, career success, and what can you do to create a more stable foundation that comes out of self-worth. And so even if you are not working for yourself and you are working at a job, you know, is that job, did you apply to those jobs because of just fear? And if you, do feel like you are in a situation where you have to do something financially, like you have to get a job even if it's not your dream job because of everything that's going on in the world right now. Or, you know, if you just have to pay the bills and you just have to get something that you're not so excited about, then still, how can you use your value and emphasize your value and your worth in that situation? So, you know, you can take a job that maybe you don't love that you feel like you have to take, but then how can you determine your value by maybe not taking on extra projects, maybe sit, sitting, standing in your boundaries about when you're going to be checking your email and when you're not. A lot of companies will expect you you know to be on email after hours and that's something that you have to 
kind of figure out a system for yourself. So again, this is going to systems and we all have to do things that we don't want to do, whether you work for yourself or you work for someone else. There's always things in your business or in your life that aren't your favorite things to do. And that's just what it is. So in those areas of your life as well, how can you make systems or routines, um, whether it's like every you know, first Monday of the month going through certain finances or certain financial goals or, um, you know, how can you create a system of value and self-worth in these daily habits that make you feel so bad? Um, so just another kind of way to explain that is like if you're constantly struggling and just feeling awful about your finances, then creating a stable foundation around like, okay, I know that this is my time once a month or once every two weeks that I sit down that I go through everything and the rest of the time as long as I'm managing my spending and not spending over x amount then I don't have to worry about it and that allows you to say okay while money might scare me while I may have you know some debt or some bills to pay or some credit or whatever um, that I need to work on I am still able to value myself and face my fear and look at this from a place of abundance and also not overly stress myself out. Like I can create these systems that give me just a stable foundation to grow from and that takes the pressure off of me making all these decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I hope that makes sense. So let me know what you thought of this poll and if it was a relevant message to your life and um, I will catch you guys in the next one.